during test if the reading of air gauge is getting up but getting down after the engine is stopped then the stop valve in the gauge is broken and has to be snet for renairment there we go that's the answer so i should have just read that early on and then i'd know exactly what i was dealing with So the end is near for the wagon and in some ways for the 244 as well uh, because it's the last big job that I have to do on both of them, an engine swap. And yeah, after that she's, she's off to her new home, uh, maybe even to one of you guys, who knows. But first, we have to get this thing running properly and to do that we need a fuel pressure regulator. One of my subscribers, Paul Martin from over in Northern Ireland, was very kind to send one over. Yeah, really, really, really nice of him. Yeah, thanks Paul, really appreciate it. Been really, really keen. I've been waiting to, to get stuck into this. Um, Cause this really is what this engine, the, the only thing it really needs to get it running right. It's like a sewing machine, isn't it? It's, it's got such a smooth idle now. Slaps like that, no matter the temperature, a bit too much really. Yeah, it's just a bit too loud. I mean, by comparison, you know, it's a huge difference there. Not good. Well, the building's still standing. Right, so yeah, I've got my carpet to dry out in the sun. Uh, now it looks a little bit like a gypsy campsite, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, so it's, it's proper swampy in here. It's just damp, it smells like, yeah, it's like, wood smoke like wood fire and old water like swampy sort of yeah so it definitely needs to be uh we're gonna leave the doors open all day and uh, let the air in and let it dry out a bit because yeah it's properly wet back here so yeah first things first valve clearance check now it'd be nice to see inside the top of this engine as well it's important that your valve clearances are, uh, are correct 
because there's not really much point doing a compression test if they're not because obviously you know if you've got valve clearances that are too too small or too big that's that's affecting your valve timing you know that's affecting your, your, your timing overall so obviously if your timing's out the compression will be out it's not completely just going So yeah, I mean, this camera will never never focus on it, but that's his point when there's not oily fingerprints on it. Point three. <laughs> I'm sure it's supposed to be between point three, point four. Point three, three, point three, oh. Goes in nice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, there we go. Point three on that one the hot figures it should be between 0.35 and 0.45 cold figures is between 0.3 and 0.4 and this engine is piping hot i mean i almost can't touch anything on it so it's a little bit tight it's just about four bit of a difference there eh? four in here yeah let's jump down to a three five yeah probably a three five let's try a three eight yeah just about three eight Yeah, I'm going to go with a 3 8 on that. This is our figures 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 3 8, 4, 3 8, 4, 3 8, 3 8. So they're all about where they should be. These ones, these three are perfect. You know, between 0.35 and 0.45, hot, and we're in the middle. Ideal. Yeah, this one is down. It's that's going a bit tight, that exhaust valve. But yeah, I'm not going to get too worried at this stage. So we've got our uh, adapter M10. I think that's the right one. I'm just going to screw it. So actually, whilst I was ordering another tester, a used one, uh, off eBay, smart move, of course. Uh, in between this, I actually took the thermostat off the silver wagon and put it on this. Um, obviously, I want to replace it with a, with a brand new thermostat, of course, but I'm going to swap the radiators over and do some other stuff. Well, potentially the engines, depending on how our compression test does today. But yeah, swap the thermostat over because this one was running a little bit cool, you might remember. And obviously, loud piston slap, which, I've, which I showed you uh, earlier. So I actually swapped the thermostats over in the hope to have this one running at a better temperature because I knew the thermostat in the wagon was good. It would get up to halfway, the gauge, whereas this obviously, as you saw, it was below half. So yeah, just swap the thermostats over and now this one's running as it should. It's, it's just over half because it's a 92 degree thermostat. And now it's much quieter as well. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll play you a clip. So now that it's actually getting up to temperature, the slap is still there, but it's much less and it's, and it's good enough now. It doesn't turn heads anymore. You know, now the car, we still, the car turns heads, but for the right reasons, not the wrong reasons. So yeah, I'm quite happy with it to be honest. I'm definitely leaning on the side of leaving this engine in. Oh 
Hopefully the camera doesn't fall off and like, fly into the uh, fan belt or something. Already smashed up one camera trying to make a video. Yeah, the camera's going to shake around like a f***ing shitting dog. There's nothing I can do about that. One seventy, actually one seventy two. One seventy again. So there we go. Yeah, I'd call that a success. Um, 170 across the board, way better than I was expecting. So yeah, goes to show, even if you've got a noisy engine, it makes no difference. Yeah, just because you hear a piston slap, you think, oh, that's it. Um, really not, especially on these. Um, yeah, and it goes to show even as noisy as the slap is, like it's, it's not like even it's down on one cylinder or, or anything like that. It doesn't burn any oil. Thanks for watching.